are still a lot of questions about why federal agents raided Sean Diddy Combs houses in Miami and LA on Monday. You're seeing video from that here. Sources are telling CBS News the searches are part of a possible sex traffic investigation by federal agents in New York. Now his lawyer though, Combs lawyer, calling the searches excessive and continuing to say that Diddy is innocent. So joining us now, legal affairs and court reporter Megan Cuniff. Megan, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So there's still a lot of speculation here, but this does come after a string of civil lawsuits and years of sexual misconduct allegations. So was this raid maybe just a matter of time? Is this something we often see in a situation like this? I think the, the seriousness of the allegations that were raised in these civil lawsuits is definitely beg the question of whether there would be any kind of criminal investigation into this. So while no one knew, I think there were a lot of eyes uh, uh, looking for something like this to see if there would be some kind of confirmation of a criminal investigation. And that's what we got on Monday. Um, I wanted to ask you before we move on to a few questions I had, is there anything that stood out to you um, or that you're really curious about at this point? Right now, we just have so little information about what has actually spurred this on. I mean, I, I thought it was funny that Diddy's lawyers remarked about a coordinated media presence because uh, it was a gigantic raid at a celebrity's mansion. So it made sense that the TV news crews would be there. But we really haven't gotten any information about who's involved in this investigation, who might an alleged victim be, how it started, anything like that. We're all just left to look at the lawsuits and kind of surmise from there what's going on. And the fact that Department of Homeland Security does do sex trafficking investigations and that is those are the allegations that are all over the lawsuits against him. Yeah, based on what you've covered in the past, I mean, when we see a raid like this of this magnitude, two homes, uh, different parts of the country, maybe could a criminal indictment be coming after this or how long could that take? It's it's definitely the intent of them going in there to seize stuff from the house was to see if they can get some kind of criminal indictment. They had to show that they had probable cause to believe a crime was committed and that there would be evidence of the crime inside those homes. So obviously that indicates they're they are working, hoping to get some kind of criminal indictment, whether that actually means there will be a criminal indictment. We can't say for sure. And, you know, we've talked to you with before about other high profile sexual abuse cases. Again, we do want to mention Diddy not charged with anything. We know that his ex-girlfriend, though, Cassie Ventura, settled her lawsuit accusing him of violence and sex trafficking. But can you speak to the role of victims when they play in this and stepping forward, sharing their stories in these high profile cases? I think they're absolutely crucial. If they weren't willing to come forward and, and share their stories and then talk with investigators, I don't know if we would have much of an investigation here because where would they start and where would they know to, know to go? And then a, a big thing for a probable cause affidavit for these search warrants could be some corroborating statements or some interviews with, with these women or other people involved in these lawsuits that they've, that they've conducted. Yeah, I know another big question for people not only is, you know, where's Diddy? that that side of the story but also the arrests that were made you know there's so little information we even have about that connected to this case Yes, the, the uh, man who's described in one of the lawsuits as a, as a mule, as a drug mule for Diddy, was arrested at an airport in Miami yesterday on some drug charges. But, you know, right now it's a, it's a single drug arrest that has no connection to this overall case. But it will be interesting to keep following this and see what happens with his case. And then if we see anything more public arising from these searches in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah, definitely. And no, we'll stick with this. Lots of questions to be answered, legal affairs and court reports. Reporter Megan Cuniff, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.